Have you taken both of these medications before? Or? Got a floss or a flower. Um, do you have a vaporizer for that one there? Yeah. Or? Okay, you do, that's good. Then uh, let us know how you go. And So one of my friends has a few minor medical issues and he told me that it was quite easy to get medical marijuana. I'm quite interested in it for myself, so I'll see just how easy it is. Medical cannabis. I'm trying to find one that's as clear as possible. So my friend told me that he just went online first and found all the information and then took that into his GP. I'm just going to look for something that offers flat rates so I can see how much I'm paying before I sign up. So from what I can see, most of these clinics aren't advertising their pricing on consultations or the actual medicine itself. Book a screening consult now. The purpose of a screening appointment is to see if you may be suitable for medical cannabis. Go through our process and answer any of your questions. Patients that book in for a screening appointment will have this charge waived from your initial doctor's appointment. So it's telling me the next available day I can book is next Tuesday. So try and I've got work next Tuesday. So we'll book it for they don't actually offer after hours appointments. So I'm going to book for 4 20 pm. I'll just pop my details in. Okay, confirmed. I've got an email here. So I'll definitely get that call on Tuesday and they've put in the email the consent form and the doctor referral form. So that makes it really easy. I can just click on that and just print them and then take them into my doctor probably this weekend so it gets gets done and then by the time they call on Tuesday I'll have everything ready so, all right so that's everything done cool so I've just printed the patient consent form and doctor referral form so I'll read through it now and see what the details are before I sign anything. Our doctor can consult patients at our physical clinic or nationwide through our video-based telehealth service. Our medical team is backed by an allied health team with deep knowledge and experience in regulatory requirements for medicinal cannabis approvals. So it just goes through like the risk factors and side effects, how you are allowed to possess and transport them. So under number eight, possession and transport, it says, it is an offense under the Drug Misuse Act to administer and possess an illegally produced cannabis-based product, which has not been approved for use. Before transporting medicinal cannabis across state or international borders, patients should inquire with the relevant authorities regarding the legality of this. Because like, the government's gonna know I smoke weed now. That's, that's a big thing for me. I, didn't even, I don't even have my name on an opal card. Like, So if your general practitioner starts saying that he doesn't know anything about medicinal cannabis, just tell him that that's what the specialist is for, that's why you need to be referred to the specialist so they can inform you more about it. It's not his job, it's their job. So it's one of the access clinics, so there. So there, what's it really called cannabis? So it's the legalized medicinal cannabis that they use um, yeah. for pain management in pain. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, really sorry. I'm sorry because I, I, I'm not, I don't know about cannabis. You know, like, like for me, I have no confidence about that. I don't know why you can see out of my colleague because I, I have no confidence about doing it. Thank you. Okay, so it's the Cannabis Access Clinic. 
No, I will not read it. No, I don't have to give it effort for cannabis. I'm feeling anxious because I got turned down by my two regular doctors um, because I don't have a condition that's on the TGA approved list. So, um, this looks ridiculous. Why am I crying over this? Now, is that alright? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, read a little bit about you you've got um uh, some anxiety and difficulty sleeping i've pretty much been approved so yeah just gonna get like the tick from the tga but the doctor's like 100 percent so so altogether it's cost me 450 in total so far and i still have to purchase the blood so today was my appointment and then next week is my post-approval appointment, um, but it hasn't been approved yet. So because I'm under 25 and because I've applied under anxiety and insomnia and because I don't have doctor's referral as well, that raises red flags when sent into the TGA. My doctor is applying under predominantly CBD-based oil and flour. Um, he recommended oils, but I don't asked and he accepted to apply for both. I've asked to up the THC intake because that's what I'm used to. 
so yeah next monday at the same time i'm going to have a consultation about how to use my medication and how much daily to take to make sure i'm not overdosing on my marijuana um, yeah. hello Hi, yes it is how are you Hi. good how are you doing good thank you good um well we've made some progress we've got an approval for both the oil and the dried flour that we talked about Awesome. Um, so um, I've just printed those scripts, and then uh, next step is I will mail them to Sydney, yep. uh, to our home team, who will distribute it to the appropriate chemist. Of course, we've got to watch it, smoke it, prefer to vaporize it, so if you can track down a vaporizer, and we generally have a follow-up visit in uh, about two or three weeks' time to see how things are going, uh, mm -hmm. make any adjustments that we need to, and then go from there. Awesome. Thank you so much for your help with everything. Okay. No problem. just went to the chemist to pick up my script. They had it already waiting for me. It's taken me probably about three weeks to get to here. So it's taken a lot longer than I thought, like maybe close to a month. Um, so I'm so glad to be here now. So we've got the cannabis oil, Jasper oil. And we've got the flour, cannabis flour. So dried cannabis sativa, five grams. It contains 6.3% THC and 8% CBD. And then with the oil, this one is 5.39% THC and 10.26% CBD. I've heard really good things about CBD oil and its benefits, so I'm actually very keen to try the oil because I haven't tried it at all really. Um, where the flower I've tri tried quite a lot. So this one should be interesting to test. I'll check out the flower and we'll see what it looks like compared to what I usually get like off the black market. Okay. This isn't what I was expecting. This is like already chopped, if you can see. I thought it was gonna come in more bud form. This is not what I was expecting. Feels almost like heavily. Doesn't. Yeah, it feels like little stones nearly. Not quite as hard, but almost feels like seeds. Very strange. I don't even know what I would compare it to. Like, it's almost like an artificial green if you look really closely, but it's it's okay. There's a smell, but it's quite um, muted. Like it's not very, it's not very strong, but it's legal. So that's the main thing. So even though the bud isn't like not exactly what I was expecting, um, I haven't tried it yet though, so I can't judge a book by its cover, but yeah, I'm so excited to finally be legal, not be deemed a criminal and not be scared that I'm gonna be fined massively or judged or be thrown in jail, worst case scenario, like, uh, it's unlegal.